We all make little mistakes, as was described by the great philosopher Britney Spears in the year 2000 in her widely acclaimed essay, Oops, I Did It Again. Taking our cue from these unfortunate occasional mishaps, I may develop one of the most beloved functions in our software, the Oops key, the control Z for the lighting programming world. We know Oops as a key on the console, which by pressing it, takes us one step back at a time. Beautiful in its sheer simplicity. Pressing and holding the Oops key gives us access to the Oops overlay. We can also access the Oops overlay via the command menu Oops overlay. The Oops overlay features two columns, name, that shows the executed command or action, and elapsed time session time, which displays time since the action was executed or time for the current session. We can toggle between these by tapping columns and choosing our preference. We can undo the last action by tapping Oops last action. To undo multiple actions, scroll to a specific event, tap it and then select Oops X actions, where X is the number of actions. We can also create a custom Oops action with the Create Oops button. This allows us to filter our Oops actions on Views, Programmer and Selection. Adjusting the Oops confirmation settings allows us to manage if confirmations for Oops actions are needed. Oops can be used in multi-user sessions, with potential error messages displayed if an action conflicts with changes made by other users. Remember, all Oops entries are cleared when changing the patch or loading a new show file. So don't be afraid to take your programming one step further, or even a hundred steps. You can always Oops it. Happy programming! <laughs>